Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys today. I want to talk about Pepe Coin because we are stuck at a very, very key resistance level for Pepe, and I want to give you guys my opinion on where I think we could be headed here. So, without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video, guys. So, first things first, over on Crypto Twitter, you can follow me at 333 Black C. I say, What meme coins are we buying? I said this, and I said, You know what? I need to talk about Pepe because Pepe, in my opinion, is one of the three musketeers of Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, and now we have Pepe. And I think Pepe is the third musketeer. I think it's going to be sticking around. It has a very, very nice meme coin staying power. I can't believe the, the words I'm using to describe these meme coins and investing in meme coins. Uh, not financial advice by any means necessary, but... You can make some money with some meme coins. You, you you can. And I do think that Pepe is a fantastic choice. That's my opinion. It's not financial advice. So I want to take a look at Pepe right now. So Pepe is sitting at rank 23, down about 10% on the day. But we are seeing a little bit of a move happening, which is pretty good. We've seen a lot of shaky movements over the past couple days or throughout the weekend. But we're looking at Pepe right now, seeing a nice $4.2 billion market cap, guys. Okay. And when we previously broke above five billion, in my mind, that was a signal. That was a signal to me that okay, Pepe is the real deal. It's not going to get rug pulled. It has proven the test of time, and now it is playing with the big boys, with Shiba Inu and Doge, and it has very. Everyone knows Pepe. Everyone knows Pepe. It's a very very known meme. And I think that it probably will help it sort of new highs, guys. I really do. But so when we're looking at this, we're seeing 24-hour volume, 763 million, up about 11% on the day. Pepe is stuck at a very key resistance level. It's stuck at a historical resistance. Can the bulls get a chance? We're going to have to see, guys. We're going to have to see. You know, I don't really like the word of get a chance because really when we look at this, we're looking at Pepe, we're starting to see a little bit of a bounce on the daily. It's looking good. And really it all comes down to what Bitcoin decides to do here. You know, I hate to be boring and say that and not be like, well, if Pepe does this, then we're going to 10x right away. But, you know, I like to be transparent here on the Crypto Report and I like to tell you guys how I see things. I've been trading in the cryptocurrency markets for nearly a decade at this point. And, you know... Really, Bitcoin is the tide that raises all the boats. And we do need to be paying very close attention to where Bitcoin's going. But until then, we're looking at Pepe. And Pepe right now is bouncing on the daily. It looks very nice. We look over at the weekly as well. It's very, very bullish. It's starting to flip the 200-day moving average, this yellow line right here, which is very bullish, guys. It's very bullish. And I do expect, I do expect Pepe to break previous highs. I do expect Pepe to break it significantly, especially if Bitcoin decides to play nice here. And guys, we're moving into quarter four. Quarter four is bullish. Usually crypto does very, very well in Q4. And on top of that, the Federal Reserve are cutting rates. It's very, very bullish for risk on assets, guys. And if you do want to long Pepe and you think Pepe is going to the moon, like I do, I do think that Pepe is going to make a very, very nice move here very shortly within the next couple months leading into 2025 here i do expect new all-time highs if you do want to long it please check out in the description box below or in the pinned comment below we have a five thousand dollar sign-in bonus to blowfin and a forty one hundred dollar sign-in bonus to femex all you do is click those links deposit trade a little bit you get a bunch of free money it's a fantastic fantastic tool to use leverage especially if you really do have conviction on a trade and you think okay i think this is going to go straight to the moon from here and you know leverage is very risky guys it is very risky but it is a very very useful tool if you use it wisely so really what we're looking at here with pepe is where are we going here well where's the entire crypto market going bitcoin right now trading at 62,700 up about 1.19% on the day. Seeing a little bit of a bounce here. I like to see that. Bitcoin Dom is trading at basically 59%, 50, 58.9% if you exclude stable coins. We're pretty close to 59%. I really do believe that Bitcoin dominance is topped out. I do. Until there's a very, very big invalidation here. Until we see a new all-time high. Te Bitcoin testing 74,000. Then I think, okay, 
Bitcoin's going to absorb a lot of liquidity here. Altcoins are going to lag a little bit. And we're going to see Bitcoin make new all-time highs. And then, bam, you're going to see the fireworks happen. And that's when you see Pepe make huge moves. You see all the other meme coins make huge moves. You got to be paying attention to where Bitcoin's headed here, guys. Looking at Bitcoin on the daily, we're, it's looking like we're starting to form a higher... Look, it's, it looks very nice. It looks like we're starting to form a higher low here on the daily right here. If we can continue to curl this up here in the next few days and have a nice bullish week and come and test sixty-five, sixty-six thousand dollars on the daily, it's going to be very, very nice, guys. It's going to be very nice. I will say, if we if we start testing and see daily candle closures above sixty-five, sixty-six thousand, we're probably headed here to test about seventy thousand dollars. And in my opinion. If we're closing around 66,000, 65,000 on the daily, it's going to set us up for a nice weekly candle closure. But the weekly candle closure is in five hours and 35 minutes, guys. It's I'm really thinking about next week, really, because this week really want to close above 63,000. Really, really want to close above 64,400. But even if we close where we're at right now, it's basically just consolidation. It's not uh, a signal that we're going to be spilling over, and it's not a signal that we're going to be going to the moon. But we do need to be paying attention to the daily because the daily says, okay, well, if we get some candle closures, our, our target here right now is to really come here and test $66,000. And if we can come and test 66000 on the daily throughout this next upcoming week, then, in my opinion, okay, we're probably going to be headed up here for – a continuation to testing 67000 and make our way to to $74,000, guys. So please buckle up, guys. I think that the next few weeks are going to be quite a ride. But if you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Also, let me know in the comment section below, do you think that PepeCoin is going to break new all-time highs before 2025? I'm leaning into the answer of yes, as long as Bitcoin plays nice. That's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.